Hi, for today's tier down, at least a new aircraft part. We have here a raid gyro unit from the Panavia Tornado. It was 30 British pound on eBay and really uh, quite a deal. It is a very beautiful device and they are still available. If you search on, on a British eBay for Tornado raid gyro, you will find them and you should grab one while they are still uh, possible to get. I might even purchase one or two more of them. So it seems we have three times the same unit inside. So unlike uh, the angle of attack sensors on Boeing aircraft, we have double redundancy here. Here is the information for you. And of course, no step precision instrument handle with care. Uh, three connectors with caps over them. Like such. And we have also on the side here uh, our meter. I will try to activate for you the macro mode on my camera. No, uh, here is the hours meter, 9,136 hours. It is actually quite a lot. I have the paperwork for this device. All the Tornado aircraft has been scrapped and there is a number of parts available for them. It was processed in RAF Liming airbase and unserviceable because not tested. Actually, it seems in a very good condition. There is no information about the aircraft it came from, I believe. I did not find anything. Okay, so time to have a look inside. We have here obviously a cover with a number of screws that I will undo. For this purpose, I have power screwdriver because I do not want to spend a whole day undoing screws. Okay, the cover did just fall off, and yes, actually we have three times the same thing, except the middle is a little bit different. In the cover we have some kind of a seal with holes for weight, pur uh, economy purpose, I believe, not sure, and we have, it seems, an electronic module and one uh, Gyroscope sensing module each time. So, if it turns out the gyroscope unit is sealed, it might be actually a quite uh, quick video. I will first undo for you the electronics. So, with this kind of uh, connector, it is secured with two screws, and you always have to undo evenly the two screws. It is very important. Ok, connector is off on this side, and we have another one here, going obviously to the main external plug. And I believe after this I should be able to just pull on the electronic. And it should come, because I see some kind of rails here. And there is no obvious uh, other kind of uh, fastener, so... Let me see. Uh, might be quite hard to pull actually because I have nowhere to grab. 
Ah, oh, it is moving. A little bit. Uh, let me try to find something else. Maybe this. Yes. Okay. It is coming. Okay. So here is what we have. Uh, double circuit board with very nice uh, blue precision resistors I guess pass oscillator here with three legs the plugs are in the middle a number of uh, ICs so I will undo the screws and I will be right back Ok, screws are undone. I will zoom in for you. And we will be able to, I believe, open this in half. Yes, there is some kind of a flat flex. So I will not open too much because I do not want to break the links. But here is the content. Uh, where the uh, ICs, most of them, PMI brand it seems. Here CI here, uh, total amp capacitors, some trimmer. But on this side, more trimmers and uh, mostly transistors. All analog stuff, obviously. Ok, so we have three times the same uh, thing. Three modules are identical, so I will not bother removing the other ones. But I will now uh, try to undo the gyroscope from the housing. With, uh, I believe, long Allen screw. Uh, It will be easy, but yes, it will be possible. So, let me try to... Okay, it is not too difficult. It might be really hard to install the screws, by the way. I have four of them to undo. If it turns out the gyro units are really beautiful, I will probably order at least one more of them because I have seen uh, such uh, small gyros uh, at uh, not far from uh, 50 British pounds. Well, if it is the same thing, I have uh, three of them for 30 British pounds plus the other things, so not bad. And it is still available, so. Oops. To, it is too far away in the case to use the power drill here and uh, quite annoying to deal with actually because my uh, wrench here is a little bit short not too short luckily enough but uh, we haven't got a long uh, super long one in a screwdriver shape of this size ok here we are so in the case nothing left some housing internal housing to uh, accommodate the screws and uh, with uh, pins to location pins to allow putting the device in the correct way and here is what we have Just a mounting bracket here. Detail on the plug for you. And here is the device. Uh, nothing written. Uh, here maybe. Yes. Honeywell Rate Gyro. Made in Western Germany. With a super small model on serial numbers here. And as you can see, it is pretty much sealed. So, no luck here, I will not be able to open it. 
looks like we have some kind of a laser weld uh, here. Uh, really a beautiful device, but uh, no luck at uh, looking inside, uh, or they do not have cutaway or anything uh, photo, cutaway photo or something like this to help me. So I believe yes, it is a single axis uh, gyro, very uh, small as you can see. It must be something like uh, three centimeters wide and uh, maybe 12 centimeters long, something like this. Short wire harness going to this plug, which is really weird because you can see there is this uh, kind of uh, molded seal or uh, cast seal part. I believe it is epoxy or something like this. Uh, ceiling compound that is exactly the correct shape so I do not know how it was put together golden pins here inside of course and it is all this might be a uh, on the engraved serial number on the device okay and I have actually three of them in this Apart from this, it is all. Uh, what else to say? This is nothing. It must be a, a vacuum feeding port or a, some kind of access to inside, but it does nothing. We have uh, four captive screws to attach it to the aircraft. And the three uh, connectors, all the same with uh, safety wire. And our regular little our meter. I will go ahead and remove it for you if it is possible. We will just see the brand of the device if it has written on it. And if the wires are long enough to allow removing it. But we will find out immediately. Yes. <laughs> so uh, 18 volts, 400 hertz made by Airpax in Cheshire, Connecticut, USA. And he has just two wires going probably to one of the plugs here. Because I believe all the free gyros will be uh, used at the same time, so you need only uh, one uh, hour meter for all of them. Okay, so it was an interesting device for the price, quite happy with it actually. A uh, nice uh, thing for my uh, collection, and everybody loves gyros, so a uh, good thing to have. Thanks for watching, bye bye.